Disrupting Craft is the latest installment of our Renwick Invitational exhibition series, a biannual showcase of mid-career and emerging craft artists who deserve wider recognition. Together with my fellow jurors, Sarah Archer and Annie Carlano, for this year's exhibition, we have selected four makers, Tanya Aguiniga, Sharif Bey, Dustin Farnsworth, and Stephanie Suhuko all of whom challenge convention and infuse craft with a renewed sense of activism, emotional purpose, and inclusiveness. Based in Los Angeles, Tanya Aguiniga is an artist, designer, and compassionate activist. Using a range of natural materials, including wool, beeswax, and human hair, she crafts furniture, textiles, and sculptural works. Born in San Diego and raised in Tijuana, much of her work is shaped by her experience growing up within a binational working class family. Aguiniga advocates for social change through community based projects, particularly within those communities that neighbor the US Mexico border. She strives to create dialogue, collaboration, and interconnectedness in everything she creates, whether she's making a chair, organizing a community project, or designing a hotel lobby. Sharif Bey's work ranges from functional pots and beaded necklace forms to sculptures pierced with nails and ceramic shards. He investigates cultural identity, symbols of status and community, and notions of power and ritual. As a dual professor at Syracuse University in both the College of Arts and the School of Education, he maintains a studio space just steps from where he teaches, allowing him to combine practice with theory. This hybrid model allows Bay to continuously reinvent his artistic process, blending rhythms and routines within his daily work and life. He believes that his work is defined not only by its materiality, but in the ritual of making and all the rites associated with their conception. Working primarily in wood, Dustin Farnsworth creates haunting storylines that inhabit his intricate portraits of the disadvantaged and the marginalized. Profoundly influenced by the post-industrial decline of his hometown in Michigan, he sheds light on those inheriting societal and economic decay. As our persuasive narrator, he produces collective portraits of communities shaken by crisis and wary of the future. His architectural structures combine memories of existing buildings with fragments of imagination, conjuring dream spaces that reflect emotional states of mind. Farnsworth's work gives voice to those who have none, as he tackles issues such as social inequality, police brutality, and the tragic rise of school shootings. Born in the Philippines and currently based in Oakland, Stephanie Suhuko is driven by socially engaged projects. She produces large-scale installations and communal workspaces that use elements of craft to challenge perceptions of types in contemporary America. She shows how the typologies we use to understand objects cannot be uncoupled from the way we categorize people. Suhuko also explores the manifestation of the handmade within digital processes and virtual networks of dissemination. By tackling cultural and economic issues such as citizenship and protest, the legacy of colonialism, the value of labor, and the ethics of standardized industrial production, Suhuko provokes us to interrogate the complicated relationships between objects and our own identities. These four artists show how craft can reach beyond the art world, revealing broader narratives about skilled making and the handmade. With a sense of agency and advocacy, they respond to urgent social and political issues of our time, while also revisiting their own identities and communities. The work featured here offers moments of contemplation on the rapidly transforming world around us and disrupts the status quo to bring us together, alter our perspectives, and lead us to a more empathetic, compassionate future.